what up how's it going so in that last episode we had a few things shown to us we got to see what the colony looks like and it wasn't as epic as i thought it would be i don't know why i thought that but the way it was was perfect to what the story is right like they don't believe in technology and all that and we know that the land at this time is full of radiation because of what took place and what they doing to those women is horrifying we also got to see uh basically the way things began for not just the women who were handmaids so we got to see for people who were homosexuals so that guy get hung and they spray painted that word um we saw what happened to what's her name emily i can't recall um and we saw we saw how that happened and she I was so happy what she did to that woman, right? Like, like it was one of those things where I've been waiting for it and to see her like, yeah, I'm never going to forgive you. Like burning hell. You know what I mean? I was all for that, right? So we got to see all that, but also we got to see, right? The press. Look what happened to him. Where June was at, horrible things took place. As I said, other places look barren. Look like people got up, packed things, left, or were taken away. And no, wasn't no one taken away there. They were dealt with right then and there so that was crazy to see hey man let's go ahead and start this episode see what happens with june right the uh, i'm trying to see how they move her story forward but um yeah yeah let's go ahead and start this they're doing more military exercises along the border canadian and british army it's 7 30. yeah I'll... i got a late shift oh good time for eggs you are too skinny they have to be getting ready for an invasion down through upstate New York. 1775 all over again. You were there all the time. No one noticed you. All right, not no one. She said we were going to feed the ducks. Oh, that's her mom? I knew, I guess, or I should have known. Who feeds ducks at night? I love seeing my mother like that. And told me they were writing down the name of their rapist. And I remember thinking uh, there were so many pieces of paper. Once again, her character not understand. Like her mom would have put her on the game. You know what I mean? Go where? I don't know. See what I can find out. Try and come back on Tuesday for a couple hours. It's a lot, I know. I was a zombie when I got here. And it was just like, welcome to Canada. Here's your maple syrup. <laughs> they don't really give you maple syrup. You okay? I was in the army. Logistics and rapid deployment. After everything, they just turned us all into guardians. A week later, my unit is hanging bodies on the wall. Gender traitors. Oh. One of them was a guy I dated in college. Oh, damn. There are trauma counselors here now. It gets easier. What happened? <laughs> we were escorting at the clinic in Springfield. Your mom was working there today. <laughs> Fucking Nazi prick asshole. Yep. <laughs> hey, kiddo. Hi. Yeah, huh? you see. Uh, it's fine. Somebody threw a bottle. You see what I mean? We could tell how her mom got down. So I don't even get how when we first, not when we first, but when we see June back then, they're all like, no, they can't do that. <laughs> like, I know her mom put her on game. That was, that was her being, you know, I don't know. I can't even really explain it because I knew her mom was a fighter. You know what I mean? I work at a book publisher. Ooh. Just small academic. I actually just got promoted to um, assistant editor. Morris designing a website for a queer women's collective. Oh, that's great. We need more of those. You a good witch or a bad witch? What? Oh, shit, this dude. Depends on who you ask, I guess. Martha's maiden name. Maddox. Guy has a puddle jumper. Takes black market stuff back and forth. Back and forth where? Canada. I'll drop you at a at a friendly house. 
They'll walk you to the airstrip, quarter mile, maybe. I'm so sorry. What? Hey. The safe house. No, 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 no. Hey. Oh, you got to get back inside. The safe house isn't safe. Just wait. You can't. I'm sorry. I no. Oh, shit. Hey. No. Hey. Hey. Oh, shit. Whenever he gets to where he goes, they're going to be pissed at him. So this is where the Econo people live. It's where I'd live if I weren't an adulteress. If I'd gone to the right kind of church. If I'd played my cards right. If I'd known I was supposed to be playing cards. Under his eye. No. Why don't you wait in the kitchen? Don't touch anything. Sorry, you wanted me to I'll take that. Like, hold on. Like, now it's even becoming even more clear to me. It's like that woman is able to give birth, have a child, and she's just out and about because she went to the right church and didn't commit some grave sin of adultery. Fuck out of here. They trying to make it seem like what they doing is honorable. Well, we're not taking everyone. Thank you for taking me in. This wasn't my decision. You're a handmaid. I was. That's how they threaten us. If we're fruitful with the red dress and the wings. I don't know how you could give your baby up to somebody else. I'm trying not to. I would die first. Yeah, I used to think that too. People stay talking tough till they hear the situation. I do this, I do that. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Based off what your husband did, we might be able to see what you'll do. What's all? That's also wack. Like, imagine they clothes look wack. You, they don't season stuff. They got y'all eating parsnips. Well, my shoes. Did you look under the bed? Do you go to church? We make it up public profession of faith. We'll be back by two. We try to be quiet. Everyone here listens to everything. Okay. They really do. So are you brave or stupid? I'm not brave. So, there you go. Look how they got that man dressing. Ain't no pictures of Brother Malcolm on the wall. This is whack. They ain't got none of them black angels that's like holding a cherub black baby. Like, Do you really like that job at that publishing place? Honestly. Yeah, if I didn't, I'd find another job. You really want to spend all day reading other people's words looking for typos? I sacrifice for you, and it pisses me off that you're just settling. Because I'm not your justification for existence. I don't think you should marry him. June, you are so young. You really want to take all that energy and passion and give it to a man? No, nope. to Luke. Luke is fine, but come on. This country is going down the fucking tubes. It's time to get out in the street and fight, not just play house. This is making sense now. Okay. That's what she came for in the first place, that damn blender. That's how they have to spend time with each other. So that sort of says a lot about their relationship. What's she about to see? Makes sense. I was going to ask that when I first saw him. Like, I think in real life, like his first name is Abdul. Nah, his first name is Yaya Abdul Mateen. But for so long, we took his blessings for granted. We polluted our water supply, our air, even our bodies. And then we were shocked when our world started dying. Through the work of the penitent, we can heal. What? Stone by stone, we will earn back the favor of her our mama's Lord. at the colony. 
probably one of the we first they made an example of. An That's why there's pictures of her. Where seeds, barren and poisonous place. She was probably out there on the front lines. You know what I mean? They took her down there, tried to break her, had her out there doing that. How do you think they got her? The clinics destroyed all the abortion records. I don't know. I'm so sorry. I told her it wasn't safe, what she was doing. You were right. So is she. Well, at least it'll go fast. In the colonies. Not for her. Because <laughs> she fight. You know she'll fight. <laughs> the type of woman her mom is, I can imagine her mom vomiting some radioactive shit, just spitting on one of them. I waited before. I thought things might be okay. I swore I'd never do that again. Put that on, slide by under his eye. I'm out. Am I going? What I'm wearing today? I'm wearing light gray or <laughs> or dark gray <laughs> so this is something i hadn't brought up in my reviews and things that i said but i was like man i understand how important the handmaids are but this is the entire u.s i'm assuming or most of it so i wonder how what how things are going for the society at large for that woman to say what she said like yeah they warn us you'll end up with the wings and that red shit on you you fuck around Can she make it to a train? Can she make it to a train? I think you're gonna be on there stuck with a bunch of guards just staring you dead in your face. Everybody in there got snitch eyes. They just be staring at you over the seat. Like, she over there doing it. When she first went in in there just now, that was the first thing that came to my mind. Raise your daughter to be a feminist. She spends all her time waiting to be rescued by men. I hope she finds somebody she gets to smash or something. You know. There we go. Release. Release. I'm good. I'm good. You sure? Yeah. If you change your mind, you let me know. I'm Caitlin, by the way. I'm Ruby. Oh man, I was just about to say they're doing something like they do on Breaking Bad with the mirrors, and then she just says, "I'm Ruby." Like, damn, yo. Go fuck yourself. <laughs> Blessed be the Fruit Loops. <laughs> you ought to be dying because that's your first words to be. <laughs> How long you been holding on to that one? Or has she had already been talking? She's just still sparingly. You should hold on right there. I'm the handmaid. Where's the outfit? How do I know you're the real deal? Good enough. Who are you? I drive Commander Wells. I did. I'm a driver. <laughs> Somebody about to die. Somebody did. <laughs> I know her mom know all the lyrics to all the empowering women music. No mother is ever completely a child's idea of what a mother should be. And I suppose it works the other way around as well. Despite everything, we didn't do badly by one another. 
I wish my mother were here so I could tell her I finally know this. So I could tell her I forgive her. Hmm. I know it. Yeah, so that covered a mile away. But they ain't had to have her say such deep philosophical shit right before it happened. But it's all his fault for showing up. That's who they were looking for. First, let me start by saying, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. If y'all subscribe, make sure to hit the notification bell. Shout out to all the new viewers. Shout out to all the subscribers. And got a Patreon with full length and early reactions to things like this. Check it out. Yo, so, uh, let's see. We all knew that's how it was going to go, right? I couldn't be the only one who was like, yeah, that, somebody about to die that motherfucker. Yeah, it just, no, you're not going anywhere, right? So y'all have seen me respond to the way that June was pre all of this Gilead horseshit, right? And I'm like, how does she not understand or get some things? And how is Moira understand and get what's going on? But she's like, she's right in the middle of it. Like her husband gets all of her money. She's not allowed to have a job. And she still just was acting clueless to me. And now it sort of makes sense. Oh, kids aren't just a reflection of the parent. It's not that simple. Kids are oftentimes more a response to the parent. <laughs> like, however, whatever that parent puts out, either the kid will probably end up, you know what I mean? Going forth on some sort of that same path or to influence them that way. And other times, the response is, I'm not really into that. I'm going to do my own path. I'm going to do my own thing, right? It's not so much that you're just a straight up reflection, okay? Because her mom was hard. Her mom was a fighter and she didn't give a fuck. She said they were going to feed ducks and took her to a, a, a burning, a ritualistic almost burning of the names of people who had raped these women. And... Imagine being a young girl and, and seeing that. For one, understanding there's this many women who have had this happen to them and understanding you're looking at their response to it. Now, as she grows up, right, she's going to understand that response is not really normal. I, what I mean is I'm not saying what they're doing is weird or strange. I'm saying that's not how... 99% of women are dealing with it. They're not just going out and out. You know what I mean? Her mom was different. Her mom was a fucking fighter. But she's not that way. And she just wanted to live life and do her thing and find a man and, right? But see, so when I said that kids are often a response, early on, remember the mom says, you wanted to be on the Supreme Court. Of course, because what you, how you what you were giving to her, that's how she would be. But when you go off on your own path, it turns out that's not what she wanted. She's perfectly fine being an editor. Now, I will say I've seen uh, things on different versions of feminism, and there would be plenty of people who would call themselves feminists who would disagree with her mom. Like, nah, she is in a position of power. Her, her daughter, June, is in a position of power. And one day she'll be the full-on editor. And that means something to the, to the struggle that, that women face, right? It's not where some people are like, no, 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 no. We got to blow this bitch up. And, or we got to go in there and attack from the inside. Like, there's no time to play. Whereas other people are like, no, no. What you do in your normal life is will also affect the outcome of all of us going forward. Right. And it was interesting to see her mom be so hard and such a hard charger, but her like, man, I just, you know what I mean? So what I'm getting at is June took some of what her mom said. I, the mom just wasn't realizing that. 
right? Her, she was, she was doing some real pro woman shit. Like, look at, look at what she strived to do and where she was at, how young she was and the job she had. Like, that's a, that's not some place that's just completely, you know, equal or anything like that. Especially if you start getting more and more corporate as you go up. It's like, so mom doesn't understand her and she doesn't quite get the mom because she can't be that. That's not who she is. She's not the going into town and burning the names of rapists. Like that's not what she is. So now I get more of why June, <clears throat> excuse me, was the way that she was. Does that make sense? I hope I'm not speaking out of my ass here, right? I, I read, but you know, I'm not. Uh, expert on everything it's just when i see those two characters i like that they did that because i thought they were just going to leave it there like okay june she was ignorant this happened she's not ignorant no more but to see that june was ignorant based off of her being growing up the way she did and not wanting to be that making a choice to not be the hardcore feminist or not to see the negatives in the world. Like she, that's a choice that June made. Like I, right. She just couldn't understand. Whereas people like us and Moira, right. Also, I believe she said that Moira started a website about lesbian issues or something like that. I believe she said Moira did. Right. Which means like, you know, she was cool, super cool with the family. I just, I just like, I don't know how people would feel about that. I'm sure some people have an issue, but there's also that age thing because all, as I understand it, older feminists are, are not, it does you know what I mean? Just cause they have the title feminist, that doesn't mean they're all going to be agreeing and all have the same sort of outlook on things. But when I see her mom, I completely understand why her mom is that way. It's a, it's sort of that same thing. Those older generations are a lot more militant cause they had to put in work. They don't got no time to be sitting there like, well, we can wait this out in incremental change. They like, fuck incremental change we've been existing this entire time and you you haven't accepted what we are or who we are nah fuck that we gonna get this in motion so when they're sitting there and aunt lydia is talking to them it's crazy for them to see her mom but it makes so much sense right her mom like when she asked how do you think she got there when more asked that we know how she got there. We know how she got there. She went into their face. It was like, you Nazi motherfucker. She spit, she spit, she spit the one in their face. Look, when we first see her with her people, they had just got beat the fuck up and didn't give a fuck. They was like, yeah, you know what I mean? Like they was on that type of time. So I know she was like, you mother, like she was on the front line, right? Okay. Mom on the front lines. They take her in. Like I said, they're going to make an example of her. That's why she's in those photos. She's one of the first ones and they're trying to make an example. And it's like, look, look who, who we changed, right? I can imagine them showing those, her mom, who she is, her name rang bells amongst people like that. Like what she believes in and what she stood for is in direct opposition. So when she saw that, it was surprise and shock, but, that, but not that much surprise and shock because it's like, of course. Then... What she said, because we understand the character, right? People who sort of have ever met people like that or understand people like that. When she's like, man, that, that place a killer or something like that. Uh, how long you think? She's like, nah, she going to last long. She's a fighter. Like, I, I believe I said it before June even gave that response. Like, yeah, that woman's a fighter. She not. That's why I wasn't joking. When I was like, yeah, she'll vomit, <laughs> be coughing up her lungs and. You know what I mean? Still trying to fight. Like she's no, you know what I mean? But to see June understand the mindset of her mother as a mother in that moment, even though I knew what was going to take place right then and there, <laughs> the way they played it with some asshole shit, because they made it be like this sort of finality thing where usually that would be the end of the episode, but we, we knew that was coming. Then let's go to the part where she she gets taken to the house and the guy is supposed to do that. Okay. 
as I said before, that vulnerability and all that, whenever I see something like that, it makes me think of the ancestors because what they went to, think about that vulnerability. Think of just being out and about and everything is your enemy. The sound of your foot uh, stepping on the grass, that's your enemy. The, 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 the crying baby, <laughs> like we gotta, we gotta keep him, you know what I mean? Like everything around you is an obstacle. And imagine just having to deal with that. I'm mad, I'm, I'm mad. like I said, the fear, the paranoia, the anxiety, the, the desperation. So when I saw her in that position, I'm like, yeah, right. When he takes her to the house, it hit me. Yo, I'd forgot to speak about this in my reviews and during the show. I'm like the handmaids. It's not that many of them. It's not that many of them. They're, so what is the rest of society like? And I never considered, I just assumed anyone that could give birth, they were taken in. And the reason I thought that was because that would be the most efficient thing to do. But they were taking in women who had gone against the word of God and make, and if they were able to give birth, make them handmaids. And she, when they meet the, the chick, the wife, she says, Hey, that's what they threaten us with to not get out of line. I was like, Oh shit. And I'm like, does this make these motherfucking Gilead bitches feel better? The fact that they like, well, we only doing this to people who have sinned, right? Fuck out of here. But then, okay. So when I first saw him, my first thing, I was going to make a joke, but I didn't know how many people knew what his name was. You know what I mean? And I was going to say, yo, ain't he Muslim? I don't know if he's Muslim in real life, but I know Abdul was in his name. And I'm like, okay, didn't think none of it. So then when she pulls out the Quran, I'm like, oh, <laughs> oh, my man is. When she pulls out the Quran, I'm like, yo. So imagine what he has to go through. Right? Like. Yeah. Then the whole anxiety of her saying, I, 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 I got fucked over waiting before and I promise to never do that again. And like I said, she, I don't, there was nothing she did really wrong. It was just so chance they got caught. Cause that dude, I, I know for a fact, the reason that they got caught was cause that driver. Okay. This was okay. Episode because we got some more background of what made her the way she is. And we got to see some of the outside world, which I just neglected to think about. Like I said, in this universe to me, it's just handmaids, Martha's commanders, mistresses, guards, I, uh, Jezebel's. And you forget there's a whole other world, which I didn't catch quite catch the name, but yeah, man, next episode.